Oh, me wife. Me wife fell in the wolf den and broke her leg. Name's Keenan. Help us, me lady. I can't pull her out on me own. There was no pit, no wolf den, no injured woman. The witcher took a look at the devourer that was there instead. Thanks to her witcher senses, she was able to hear the man's silent words. Enjoy your meal. Sighing heavily, she ignored Thorstein's stupid commentary. Something about the man's lovely wife. And drew her sword. First she dealed with the monster. And then would come time to deal with the con man. <laughs> What was that? Bad luck, my lady, I'd not still breathe if not for you. But my dear Anna, my poor Anna, what's the monster done to her? Oh. What? Oh, my beloved Anna. <laughs> Fine, fine. Uh, I had no choice. Uh, the evil beast fell upon us, attacked our caravan, a travelling acting troupe. She ate us one by one. I was always a smooth talker. I didn't want her to eat me.
to survive. Let's discuss this rationally. I hid any valuables in a chest. Um, believe me, there were very few. You'll have the key and I'll mark its location on your map. And I walk free. Thank you, Witcher. Fare you well. The Witcher decided to let the actor walk free. In exchange, she received a key, as well as the location of the chest it opened. Thorstein took a peek at the Devourer's corpse. She, at least, could do no harm ever again. Should have known. Hmm. Of course I was right. There's naught but missile in them bogs, I said. Powerful Pisces plant missile. Tried giving him a protective decoction, I did, but no, my lord Witcher felt above such trifles. That, and he feared the, um, side effects. Mm. Well, for the antidote, you need a thingy, a stabilizer. Drowner's spittle will do nicely. And missile roots. Missiles, small, bushy-like. This time of year, it has bright blue flowers. Here. Take this protective decoction. Oh, smart as dirt, aren't you? If your ma told you the fire was hot, you damn well go and stick your hand right in. Don't want a protective decoction? Fine. Be sure to call on the grave digger on your way out of town. <sighs> General weakness. Better than poisoning, I say. Plenty of drowners in our bog. You'll find missile there too. I'll show you on your map.
And brought it all, have you? Good. Come back tomorrow. If all goes well, this half-wit will be up and walking. When they returned to the healer's hut, the Witcher was awake. Though clearly weakened, nursing one arm in a sling, he turned a sharp gaze on his visitors. He then stood with difficulty and proposed that they speak outside. Who? Wait, I know you. But I... your name escapes me. Vesemir. Huh. They let you and that rickety pirouette of yours out on the path. And I'm grateful for that. Embarrassed for you even thinking about it. Been better? Or as part of it is, it'll be some time before I'm back on the path, earning gold with my blade. Even longer till I can take on something more difficult, you know? To bounce back a bit. Oh, and uh, one other thing. Thanks, kid. For bringing me here. Got some supplies I can share. You earned them. Well, there's the Striga contract I took on, but a gimpy necker will pose a challenge to me in my condition. If you'd like to try your hand, come and see me. I'll give you what details I know. <laughs> 